Near Atlanta, Georgia, an old classic is getting a modern makeover. The pocket shot is the evolution of the slingshot. We took a Y-shaped, boring slingshot that everybody knows and made it circular. The fastest we've recorded is 367 feet per second. Meet Matt, Sean, and Patrick. Three guys out to prove their new invention is not just another toy. Today we're going to be shooting some different projectiles with the pocket shot and uh, we're going to destroy some stuff, which is what we like to do best. This would be the actual first uh, prototype. It was simply a bottle cap with a balloon attached. It's surprisingly powerful too. That's it. You just drop in. We chronographed that about 180 feet per second, so even the balloon in a bottle cap with a little BB will still pack a punch. As young kids, that idea seems simple. But as adults, bringing a viable commercial product to life is anything but. Oh gosh, it seems like every step of the way there was always a problem in manufacturing or um, something would break during testing, so we'd have to go back to square one. Eventually, they do settle on a design. We call these power fins because it adds more surface area to the latex, which gives it more uh, feet per second when we shoot it. Today, those power fins and a specialized latex formula have put serious spring in the pocket shot step. But don't just take our word for it. So this is what we use here. It's a chronograph. We have it set up on a tripod, and it measures feet per second. So we'll just shoot the ball bearing across the top of the chronograph. Here we're using a conventional slingshot, the wrist brace on it. Compare those numbers and it becomes obvious the pocket shot can perform, but you ain't seen nothing yet. So all you have to do, just load your arrow in, grab hold and pull back and fire. The archery component to the pocket shot uh, came about when uh, one of my partners said, I wonder if we could shoot an arrow with this, let's just try it. And it worked really well. So we made a pouch specifically designed for shooting arrows. We increased the length um, to six inches so you could get a full draw. And we made this arrow cap to put on the front so that it would line center the arrow uh, and hold it in place so you could shoot it a lot easier. All right, so now we're gonna test the pocket shot with the arrows against a recurve bow and see what types of speeds we can get. An arrow is a lot heavier than a ball bearing, but the pocket shot still clocks an impressive speed. All right, now we're going to try a recurve bow and see what kind of speed we can get with that. So as you can see, the recurve bow does outshoot the pocket hammer as far as feet per second. But you can also see the size difference. This is big and cumbersome, and this can fold down and literally stuff in your pocket. A bow that you can stuff in your pocket? Not bad. And these guys are just getting started. We're going to eventually have a sight for it, light, and all kinds of things. The possibilities are endless to what we can add to it. Nice, Pat. Finish it off.